the twenty third. Seriously close business, Steve. <laughs> I'm gonna get him stoned fast. Their money. I guess. It's okay, man. I guess that makes sense. I guess. I don't know. Let's we'll see. I don't know what those things are. Those? I guess they're evil plants. This is actually one of the harder bosses in the game. Yeah, the bosses repeat in this game a lot, and they get gradually harder. Oh. So far, playing this on here plays a lot better. Captain Caveman, that's what that reminds me of. He does look like Captain Caveman. 
I'm just surprised that this game came out in child. Yeah. <laughs> First one or whatever. Well, except you can't just stand there and stare at him like you can in Wolf Child. Yeah. That pterodactyl at the top is, is the, the whole journey going to turn him into some fried chicken. <laughs> Barney. Now it's a flight shooter. There's one of these at the end of each island, because he's transporting himself to the other one with his amazing arm ability to helicopter. I didn't find any secret areas in any of these, though. Yeah. I didn't really try either. There's some volcanoes later. And there's some of the the whales from Mario Brothers 2 shooting the air up at you. Here's one. Moby Dick. Better watch out for that water. Oh, the water kills you. <laughs> Cavemen can't swim. But they can fly. Oh, that was stupid. Just lost my power up. You got it. The game was nice enough to give me another one. Castlevania monster? <laughs> Apparently there were a lot of dead sea serpents in the... In the Stone Age? Stone Age. Island one's complete. Off to Island 2. If you were flying with a club, why didn't you just continue flying? <laughs> it was dreaming, though. <laughs> Dreams are different than real life. Flying to the moon. Monster Island. Full of turtles. Thank you. 
Is this a run? Like, am I able to... Okay. It looks like it's working. Alright. Did they miss all our funny jokes, Steve? Do what? Did they miss all our funny jokes? I don't know. Did they? <laughs> Sorry about that. They missed the jokes. To the stream. To the chat thingy. I'm not... I'm not sure what you would call it. Blackfish is invincible. Even though he's taller than that water, if you touch it, you die. So this caveman has a lot in common with like modern day kids. Can't take a bath. <laughs> he's not a very clean man. <laughs> now you gotta fight a. Uh... This is one of those bosses where there's extreme slowdown. Yeah, you because know, there's two things on screen. So much lag. Which is pretty much the last islands why they suck so bad. Cause there's like three things on screen and you're just moving in slow motion. <laughs> These rat things, you can barely even hit them most of the time, or you won't see them because they're behind stuff and you just get hit. It's fun. Every single cave has the same boss in it. There are all these like weird centipede things. The one that I just killed. I think you were across the room though. So there was one of those rats. I would have got hit by that. Yeah. The later levels have that and these 
tiny bats flying ridiculously at you. But it's funny because all the bosses, like this one, has the exact same pattern. I think you fight it five times. Which uh, I think it's this one. <laughs> Stanley. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the Stone Age, they did have glasses. They had, they had uh, Chris Sabo goggles and <laughs> accepted bones as currency. <laughs> bones that just float around in the air. The snakes look like worms. They had these strange cobras just in normal areas that weren't the desert. The snakes look like worms with, uh, with wings on their heads. <laughs> I bet those snakes can't fly with their club. Nah, uh, they just hang out. For some reason, uh, I don't even know what just happened. I jumped up into the sky, of course. What I'm gathering from this game is that cavemen were very acrobatic and they could climb trees without even really having to climb. Only the ones with big noses. <laughs> and club and uh, propeller here's, clubs. Here's the crab claw robot monster again from the Stone Age. He's back for revenge. He just wants to die. You can tell he's not even trying to put up a fight. He just wants you to kill him. Well, he only has one eyeball. Now this is pretty well made for a fifth party rental title. <laughs> this is ah shit. You're we'll get hit by that guy. Might as well go home to my wife. <laughs> Those, the mosquitoes in the stage you can hit, but not the the ones at the at the boss. I guess those are mosquitoes. Probably a hummingbird. Knowing this game. Oh. I'm dead. Well, hopefully I can get a, a stone power up. Um, if it's still there, there was that one. Well, most of the stuff disappears. I think there's one right here. Yeah. Just in time. <laughs> oh, I got hit. Last stage of Monster Island. So I figure one of these that? volcanoes probably have like a secret store in them, but I wasn't about to try to land <laughs> in them and die. Looks like a flying serpent. The only benefit to this is you can actually hold the button and keep flying. But you can only move halfway up the screen. It's hard to be in a caveman with a flying globe. <laughs> That dude's of probably got some massive carpal tunnel. That dude's, <laughs> that dude's <laughs> wrist is like... He's got one buff arm that just hides in the back. Well, he's obviously left-handed. 
I don't know how he throws the club to the other hand within that short second. Well, cavemen, I guess, are amazingly ambidextrous. <laughs> Probably a cyborg. No human wrist can twist that much. <laughs> and here's the Castlevania. Castlevania bone lizard again. That only takes four hits to beat. Well done, big nose. Thanks. That sounds kind of offensive if you think about it. Not to dream about the next island that's real. That water won't kill you. <laughs> it sends electrical currents out of you. The lizard doesn't kill you instantly like he does in the game. Man. Yeah, here's the ice stage that doesn't show you it's the ice stage other than the picture, so you just slide around a lot. I think it's this one. Wrong one. I don't need any of this. It doesn't add a lot of sliding stuff like most games do. On the stages where you have to constantly do platforming jumps, it kind of sucks. This is where the game starts to repeat the same levels over and again. This game. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get some bones. Then I'm gonna fight that same boss again from the beginning. <laughs> oh man, I've never seen this guy. The only time this boss is hard is when you don't have stones to throw out. Because you have to. Well, I mean, I did it earlier when you had to kind of smack him and jump. Can you imagine that guy if he was on a rug? <laughs> so much static electricity, that thing would be... And we got scorpions. Scorpions in the Antarctic? Or a glacier, whatever you're on? I don't know where, where exactly. He's on Island 3. stages is where like they just decide to not work with colors very well so you can't see some stuff that's actually there. This stage would just give me a headache. This one doesn't hurt your eyes as bad as some of the other ones. But we have uh, the saber tooth. Dennis tiger. Leary. <laughs> Why are you killing Dennis Leary? Terror Island. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna choose this one again. Alright, <laughs> I don't need any more. I'm gonna let you have nine. This is when the game starts getting ridiculous. Why are the huh? blinking eyes down there? Kind of threw me off. They're just there to scare you. It scared me just a bit. And, and there's those these invisible bats. The bats that fly too fast. <laughs> there's another one right here. Then. Schooled it. Then we got evil frogs coming up. <laughs> we got nothing worse than a cave toad. <laughs> oh man. I don't even need this. <laughs> I 
You got nine lives. You're a cat. Oh. I don't know how I hit that thing. Eh. Well, nine lives doesn't last very long when you're a caveman. I don't know. It's lasted you pretty long so far. I noticed. Ah, it's changed purple. Here he is again. These things were in every caves. Every single one. I've Could never seen one in a cave. Maybe in this game, they're in every cave. In this game, <laughs> they're in every cave. That's your deck over, you dick. It's leading him through all these dangerous paths. Well, that's what I'm chasing, man. I want to eat him. Dedication, I guess. See, the slide physics start happening here on a stage that doesn't even really... <laughs> on, on stones? And he can fall millions of miles and not get hurt. Oh man. Why isn't he just using his, cl his club copter or whatever it is? And that would have made sense. Shit. Is that a double jump? No, I jumped on this block you can't see. He wouldn't turn around. Now you just gotta play hard mode. Go get another one here, I think. If it's the same as the last two. No, I gotta wait for the next one. <laughs> How big is this mountain? Jumped off the peak like five times. Well, someone cleverly laid out platforms between each one for you. <laughs> Here's uh, Dennis Leary again. One, two, three, four, five. There he goes. <laughs> Shoot it, who's boss? Which one did I go in last time? Uh, right, I think. I died once, didn't I? Sid. Sid looks like Sorry, a Sid, you don't have anything I need. Hummingbird, mosquitoes, whatever this, they are. This stage, I found out if you move, it just gets you killed, so you just stand here and fling rocks. Sounds alright. It gets the job done, I guess. I still have nine lives, I didn't know. Man. This is the most intense level I've seen yet. Well, if you move, the only way to stay safe on this stage is to not move at all. You should move. Then to fight this fish, you just stand right here or you get hit. Oh. It's time to fly to the next island. Dolphins. There's a very, very weird dolphin. An evil dolphin swordfish. <laughs> That's not three, it's only one. It's just a challenge. I got two. And this is one of those days, if you touch at the bottom, you just instantly die. That's 
Boy, he's learned to hover with his club. Ah. Now he turned back into that gross brown vomit color. And I'm dead. He's an angel now. Yeah, but that's not good. Hey, you're the boss. It doesn't matter. You can't get any more free men after this island. You gotta eat. It's alright. You, you got enough. Yeah, but the next stage is when there's too many things on the stage and it slows down. The, the last area is Black City, is what it should say. Bet you something jumps out. A giant eyeball. Back in the Stone Age, the Z did exist. <laughs> First letter of the alphabet. And here's the repeating first stage again. Except the ice has melted away, so he's been on this journey for a long time. <laughs> he survived the ice age. All for a pterodactyl. Either he's a giant or these dinosaurs are just. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that. They're all babies. <laughs> Crazy children. acrobatics right there. Oh, we got Here's the, the, the shuffle source. <laughs> oh, this one takes more hits. Two. He takes two extra. <laughs> there goes uh, Terry from uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go on this one. Uh, buy this fast club, these power stones. So now he swings crazier. I don't know what I just killed, but it was there. You got it. I see. I jumped in. There. I was, uh, oh, oh, I thought you, <laughs> thought you died. I was being tricky. There's another toad. Cave toads. No, that one's a, that one's a frog. Spiders, frogs. I think they just made know. all these things move at you from behind just to piss you off. We got to do the ghost and goblins and jump, turn around, throw. Yeah, but he doesn't turn around as fast as Arthur. Deadly water drops. I never touched one, but I figured they probably hurt you. I probably do. Look at this crazy attack I have now, though. <laughs> Contra mode. If only you could flip and shoot at the same time. Well, you can jump, I, mean, I guess. I guess that counts. Wonder who this is. <laughs> Is uh, I think centipede. <laughs> I think uh, he kills this thing's entire family in this game. Big nose cave man, being a dick. <laughs> Murders all the ball centipedes. Chaos Island. This one sucks. This one's full of chaos and trees. This one's full of purple birds. Those are pterodactyls. 
No, you can tell that they have wings. Pterodactyl, like, pterodactyls have wings. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to say feathers. <laughs> that was the word. That's a pterodactyl. Do you not see the point on its head? Look at his beak. Pterodactyls have those weird beaks. Not like purple birds. <laughs> you don't know what color a pterodactyl was. Thank you very uh -huh, much. I'm chasing him right now. <laughs> Pterodactyls are green, purple, and sometimes blue, and brown. They're all sorts of colors. Oh, in our imaginations. Science Museum says they aren't real. Uh, pterodactyls have invisible skin in the Science Museum. <laughs> invisible. <laughs> you can see all its moving parts. It's like those fish with the uh, clear skin. This game is so much easier on the console than it was on my emulator. Now you gotta fight the depressed dinosaur. It looks like he needs medicine. Shit. Beat him in the crotch. Ah. And then he turned into a very shocked dog. Now I have no attack, so hopefully he's almost dead. Yep. You just beat the shit out of his, uh... I'll whop that dino's dick. <laughs> Gave him some... He clubbed his crotch. He deserved it. Howard. He took away rocks. Oh, man. That iguana or whatever that was just did not give a shit. Yeah. It's not a good thing either. I hit the butt of his tail. <laughs> that spider's dancing like MC Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Can't touch that, man. Well, I just lost all the stuff I bought, which is what sucks. How did that turtle get in a tree? Turtle tree. Oh. Turtle platform. Jump. survive in that small amount of water. How does it jump that high in that small amount of water? It doesn't have well, enough that's time magic. To... I imagine these turtles are magic too. Mosquitoes. Bones. MC Hammer spider. <laughs> Scared me. See, some of those fish, whenever you kill them, I don't think you're killing them, because it looks... I didn't think you were killing them, because it just looked like they flopped back into the water. So, like, stuff like that would have thrown me off. That guy had a good oh, collection man. of bones for me. You're the bone collector. Look at that island I think they only did. slowed this part down to make it slightly more difficult. <laughs> There it goes. Big news. Ah. Now you're on, uh, now the iceberg is melted. Or, not the iceberg. This, this is the I only know. small trick I found in the game, is you can stand on this. There's nothing there. You done blew it. I don't know if that was... If they just messed up. And this one's more difficult for the jumps because the, you're not sliding. Everything's going fast. Except for that guy. Well, he was just hanging out. <laughs> he probably got laid off just recently and he just did not <laughs> care about his life. Like, you can tell the ones that don't care about anything. They want to die because they move slow. They're just out for a walk, man. <laughs> Caveman comes by. They kills just him. they just hatched and learned how to walk, and you're <laughs> killing them instantly. Except those. Are Imagine maybe. the feast he could have had. He just ate all this stuff. He would have just had to stay on stage one. You know how many pterodactyls you've killed, and he's chasing a pterodactyl. Those are birds, man. The pterodactyls. 
Well, you got these weird serpent dragon things. Well, obviously, dinosaurs. pterodactyls were the delicacy then. Oh, here we go. We got Dennis Leary again. I thought, st wait, is they were two weren't only in the Ice Age? <laughs> they were in the Ice Age. Ah, uh, I don't know my, my prehistoric the, history stuff too well. They're, they're in this game as well. There was a full moon. It was probably a werewolf, thank you. <laughs> probably. Sabertooth werewolf caveman. Oh, if I remember correctly, there's two stages left. Is this the last uh, world? Yeah, I think so. You got six lives? This music sounds too happy for a caveman. I wish they'd use that cloud music more just because it's so obnoxious, but it's catchy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Percy. Double club, fast club, treble stone, hard feet, quick stop. Hey, you can press start and use a spell. <laughs> Somebody's loaded with bones. Now you've done some speed. That was your drug dealer, actually. <laughs> He just, he just got so I'm much I'm on speed. crystal meth and <laughs> methamphetamines. And I'm stoned out. The dino child slaughter. Whoa. That bird pterodactyl tried to get me and that one just tried to poop on me. <laughs> yeah, these uh, these birds are learning stuff from the Flintstones. <laughs> How else are they going to know that? I'm going to stand up here and take a relax. Oh. Back on something. How does that tree have a button in it? I remember that rock explodes and kills you if you hit it. Should have done it. You're right, I'm on all kinds of drugs right now. Can't lose those. <laughs> but you can lose my respect for not doing <laughs> that. Oh, crap <laughs> claw. <laughs> What's He's rock? back one last time. This is purple version. It's been rebuilt. What exactly is that? A giant scorpion? It's 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 a, it's a robot with a crab claw for a face and one eyeball and a scorpion tail. You've never seen those? So it's extinct. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely extinct. <laughs> That's all I know about it. All right. Uh, I believe this is the last stage, and I just got hit. <laughs> So this is like the final, final stage? I believe it is. Better not be lying to me. I'm gonna get my hopes up. Carpal Tunnel Caveman. Whoa. He tried to get me. I don't know what those things are. It's like a flying newt. <laughs> <laughs> There's things that they hang out by volcanoes. Oh wait, those? Yeah, they're like flying newts. They look like dragons. They're like scary ropes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a possessed rope. This pterodactyl should feel lucky that he has so many other things protecting him. Because there's real, there's no story to this game other than he wants to eat that pterodactyl. <laughs> it's just dedication, man. Gotta eat. You gotta earn what you eat. <laughs> All right, the, this, there he is. <laughs> you gotta beat Terry. Pee Wee's gonna be pissed. This is the, this is the final boss. That's a hair. I just noticed he looks like a hairy Ziggy. He does. Son of Ziggy. <laughs> this is uh, Ziggy's ancestor. Before Ziggy just became a head. <laughs> Before he became <laughs> extremely depressed and all of his animals make fun of him. And he has a horrible life. His bone structure is just a de-evolution. <laughs> <laughs> he just, he's just a skull with head de with all. Thought you had it. You I beat it. it. That's the game. All done, Big Nose. And there it is again. He, he did. He's still yeah. chasing it, <laughs> but here's the rumble. 
Check out that. Final Rumble. They had wheelchairs in the Stone Age? They did if you went to the one with the hospital sign on it. <laughs> when you jump in this pipe over here. And it tricks you and makes you think like there's another stage, but there's... After, after a long, a long hard adventure, Big Nose captures the pterodactyl and a great Thanksgiving is had by all. <laughs> so well done. So the pilgrims didn't invent... Or no. They didn't, they didn't come up with Thanksgiving? the pilgrims. Yeah. It's easier to play on here. Sorry. Yeah. Was it? Well, forget the tool assisted run and just beat it without that. Huh? No, you don't have to. Sometimes, like one of the stages are. Thanks. I'm pretty sure it was the tool assisted run. It might have been just a playthrough, but. I predicted 45 minutes if I could beat it. I said 45 minutes if I beat it. Why well, lied? There's Big Nose the Caveman. What do we have next, Bill and Ted? Now you got, uh, Big Nose Freaks Out. Oh, I gotta play that? What? You want me to play that? What? You want me to play that? No, no, not today. <laughs> I think Steven was gonna take time? on. I think Steven was taking it on. What? Big Nose Freaks Out? Are you gonna do it? Okay. Do it. That'd be awesome. Well, it's like two weeks away. I think. Is it? Pretty sure. I come over every two weeks. Right, it's like every other week, right? Yeah. It's me time to beat whatever you want to play. I'm pretty sure I did two weeks because I don't like going the same kind of game two weeks in a row. So like Bomberman and Bomberman 2 the next week? Yeah. You wait a couple weeks, you know? So yeah, come in two weeks, let me know. No, I'll be up here. Okay. Then do it. I'll try, sure. to, I'll try to slam through that blues boy. Is that in two weeks also? I don't know. If it's, it's not, like, I can adjust I don't it to where... Anybody, I don't think anybody... No, I can, I can adjust it to where you play... Blues Brothers, he plays Big Nose Freaks oh, Out, but we should pr uh, try to do something, like, if you can, figure out something else to play, because those games are both probably not going to be terribly long. That one guy fucking Yeah, it was like four, four minutes and 30, or six minutes and 30 seconds or something. It's Okay. You ready? Yeah. Get your headset. Do what? You want to commentate? Yeah, no, I'll have you commentate. Let me just go ahead and pick, finish this. Alright, guys, we're up to Bill and Ted's excellent video game adventure. Why are you raising your hand? I didn't see this Bill the first time. Because you're trying to go your traps! Ah, I Ready to go when you are. Alright. Introduce yourself. You're a new player. Yeah, uh, my name's Jeremy Garden. Playing here for the first time, and... It might be a little brutal, but we'll do our best. How'd your run-through go? Uh, at home, it went pretty well until the last level. The last two uh, levels are pretty brutal and long. Okay. But with a little luck, we should be okay. So what's the uh, what's the goal? Just to get all the people and send them back? Yeah, essentially they're going to give you some historical figures to hunt down, and then... Really, you gotta have a good knowledge of this game because there's baits hidden all over the level, but there's no indication of where they're hidden. No. So it's you something that you remember yeah, it. Either you know, since this was made back in the time before game FAQs was around, it was right. a bunch of just touch and go. But so basically, this is just a bunch of memorization. That's most Nintendo games, really. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much what it is. So it looks like we're going after Rembrandt. All right, hand it over to Brett for some color commentary. <laughs> Whoops. I don't even know what's going on right now. <laughs> what's that? How long do you predict? Uh, probably two hours, maybe hour and a half, two hours. It's a, it's a long one. Are you guiding that candy bar? Yeah, this is supposed to be their little payphone tr time travel oh, okay, booth. Yeah. And you're trying to guide it to the circuits to get to the p time period you need to. So this is the medieval time.
So these are all just random people that are going to tell you stuff you don't care about? Basically, anyone that's standing still can give you a hint or an item to help you along. So those guys standing still, if you walk up to them, they'll either tell you to bug off or give oh, okay. you something. Get away from me. Yeah. The guys that are walking around with their arms to their side, if you run into them, you have to give them a coin or else they take you to jail. <laughs> and the guys that you'll see later in the game with their arms stretched out, they'll take you t straight to jail if they touch you. Now the pain in the butt part about that is, is jail is usually away from everything you need and there is a ton of walking in this game. So if you get sent to jail, it can make it pretty brutal. I think the only Bill and Ted one that I played was on the Lynx. Mm -hmm. And it just as terrible as <laughs> this, I'm sure. <laughs> the Atari Lynx version of this is real bad. Mm -hmm. But you see, you jump up against this tree and you get an item, but there's no indication of <laughs> that being the case. And it looks like I got the paint roller, so that's actually what we need to go find Rembrandt. Oh, okay. There's four baits in every level. You just got to figure out which goes with which guy. We got some paper boy going on. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, they give you a couple tracks here with horses and canoes that if you can make it through without getting knocked off, they'll give you some more coins. And you need the coins to get through the time circuits or else you can't get back. Excellent. <laughs> That's one of the guys. So that's take you to one jail. of the guys, and there's Rembrandt. <laughs> A paint roller. <laughs> so do you actually get everyone that's in the movie? That's just it. Most of these guys that you're getting aren't in the movie. There's no Socrates, no Napoleon, no Abe Lincoln. So, from what I was reading about this game. It's supposed to be what happened between Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey, so I guess that's why they're using different characters. After you get oh. done with every level, they'll do a little concert here, and they're they, playing uh, keytars. Yeah, and they get they're all, they start off awful, and the more levels you beat, the better they get. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then they start playing Joe Satriani. Exactly. <laughs> they, get, they get crowds. People are throwing beach balls. It's good. We'll go through that, so not because we could be here all night if we watched all that junk. I sat and watched the the caveman interludes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> been dreaming well, about food. At least those are mildly entertaining. Yeah, they're more like a Pac-Man intermission than right. anything else. What? So basically, what we're doing here is we're looking for rashing, flashing red numbers. It's going to tell us who's lost in time. I think it's both. Who was in there that you saw that wasn't important? There he is. We're getting Al Capone, mm -hmm. Steve. So Al Capone is in the Old West? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and once again, we got a little lucky there, because he is looking for a book of lawyer stuff. Get away from that tax evasion. Were you just stuck in that tree? Yeah, yeah I jumped into a dead tree, and that's how I found it. Now, the guys, really, in the strategy to get away from the guys with the outstretched arm <laughs> is to stay off the main path, but jump, every time you do, you fall on your butt. You <laughs> jump know, so. in the rough grass. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Ricky Coogan. That was him. So you really just, to play this game successfully, you just have to jump into random things to find things that you need. Unless you know what you're doing, yes. 
and considering how many little things are all over the map, that could, uh, that could take a long time. <laughs> Needless to say, we looked up a few areas before we started this. <laughs> it's like tribesmen from Africa in the old west. <laughs> So is is there a paperboy horse level on each one? Um I can think of at least one that there isn't. But there's some there's some sort of little travel in each level. That's not enough. come on. <laughs> <laughs> you find shiny coins when you fly off of horses. <laughs> it's a known fact. I like how Bill looks fat. <laughs> it looks like he's wearing a like his shirt tied up or something. Like we're seeing his midriff. Well, I think he did. Didn't he wear like the cut off <laughs> shirt in the movie? That's possible. It's been a long time and it was the eighties. Football shorts. Yeah, he's <laughs> oh, there's another one. He's a football star. <laughs> Well, he is a wild stallion. About to get some more coins from the stallion he's riding. <laughs> Does it depend on the area you're in and it just switches you back and forth between Bill and Ted? Or yeah, um, I think it just from level to level it switches you back and forth. It's like he's got the creepy touch going on. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> the worst Indians ever. <laughs> they run at you with rape hands. <laughs> Three horses. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh. No coins that time. No shiny coins. You got hit by the rigatoni rocks. <laughs> The towns in this kind of... Did you ever play Lone Ranger on Nintendo? No. kind of looks a little bit like this. Lone Ranger is cool because it has like the regular gameplay kind of like this. And then when you're, when you're traveling on horses, you actually have the light gun plugged into the second port. And you actually shoot the cowboys that are chasing you off their horses. Is 
This would be an extremely frustrating game as a child. <laughs> an adult, let alone a child. I don't know, we might have had a better brain as a child to, to run around with this. <laughs> I mean, if it's between this and going outside to play, I think I'll just torture myself with this. <laughs> So have you actually full circled this area? Yeah, there's even an inside to it too. This, the problem is there's m open buildings everywhere and there's about four different places where Al Capone can be and you just have to kind of walk around and check each one. So he's, he's randomized? Yeah, changes every single time. So. No? That guy looked pretty cool though, can we take him? <laughs> That was the marshal. <laughs> oh, he caught me anyway. It's not. Oh, they yeah. both grabbed you. <laughs> so do you lose anything for that, or you just have to go all the way back around the stage? You've got these skeleton keys at the top, and you can collect more, but... The only way you can really lose the game is if you get sent to jail so many times you run out of skeleton keys. Okay. And then there's no continues, nothing like that, just a simple game over. Thankfully, after each quote-unquote level, there's uh, the skeleton keys reset, so... He's on the move, man. I think I just want gifts of the creepy guy running after you. I guess someone was just logged in to just watch what's going on right now. They would have no idea. <laughs> this this is pretty much every stage area. It's every just single stage, and it's uh, the <laughs> there's only there's technically six worlds, but the worlds repeat. And two of the worlds are completely identical. All they do is change the sprites in them. So you've got five worlds to go through. Let's see, what, it's a total about 12 times? It's ridiculous.
I don't, I don't know, John. We're, we're trying to figure out which, which uh, room Al Capone is in in the Old West. There's, there's another there's bill. There you know. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We are there now. And you put Al Capone in your pocket and you jump back in. <laughs> so are you controlling it with that? So I'm controlling the red circle. It can move around and, and help you shortcut him. through it. And you have obviously your time so if you take too long you're gonna die yeah the 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 number in the corner of your coins that you've collected oh, okay and every time you allow it to help you out it costs two coins so you can use shortcuts to prevent that so basically you need to make it to the end before the coins run out and every time you hit a skull you lose a coin and that becomes important later because you actually have to hit skulls to okay. make it through time tricky creators mm -hmm. We're going to get Julius Caesar from the sewers of <laughs> New York City. <laughs> At least they put this sweet Atari game in here to play. <laughs> so from level 3 on, you have to hit one of the red skulls, and you got a 50-50 shot of it being right. And we're Ted again. <laughs> At the Civil War. <laughs> so did that guy just give you more skeleton keys? Is that what he yeah. said? We're, part of, we're already maxed out on him, but let's see. I'm trying to think we're... Actually, I think they're up here. Uh oh, bad touch, Washington. <laughs> 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 Just salad dressing in that bush. <laughs> oh, now it's even funnier. Bad touch, zombie Washingtonians. <laughs> Julius Caesar's out here somewhere, Stephen. We're not sure why. But Martha right there wasn't him. What? 
I said Martha wasn't in the Madison who was in there. I think this is still more entertaining than playing the Mario's Time Machine. I don't know if you ever played that one. Same thing, just wander around forever. At least that one felt semi educational. This one I'm just chasing down <laughs> Julius Caesar with salad dressing. Well, that's what he likes. <laughs> So if you if you find him before you find the salad dressing, he will not go with you. To my understanding, that's how it works, but in every playthrough I've done, I couldn't find him till I found the correct thing. So I'm not even <laughs> four, sure four cans of pudding. I'm not even sure he appears. <laughs> oh man, more bad touch. Do they want the the pudding? That's what I'm throwing is the pudding. So that's why there's pudding and salad dressing laying everywhere. <laughs> Someone has probably thrown it to get the rapists <laughs> away from them. <laughs> John, John Michael says that we are currently tossing the Caesar salad. Oh, that other guy was excited about the pudding, too. <laughs> Who doesn't love pudding? I love their amazing leap. <laughs> if you ever go back in time, just remember take pudding with you in case someone's trying to to rape you and just throw it at them and they'll go away. We're we're currently on the search for Caesar Wyatt and he won't go with us unless we have the salad dressing that we have found inside of a bush. See, now the guys know you have pudding. Now they're just all after you. <laughs> oh, canoe? If you hit it, yeah. Uh, I got really excited that that wasn't a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I think the the Benny Hill music needs to be playing on everything, John. Something strange in that bush. So that guy you gave him pudding earlier, he wants some more. There he is. <laughs> Oh man, you just smashed him.
killing the coinage. So you said this one is just hope? Essentially, yeah. Tried one, didn't work, tried the other. So basically this game seems more like Bill and Ted took everyone back to the wrong time periods. <laughs> And now they have to go back and get them. Part they left out of the first movie. <laughs> Sitting bowl. Robin Hood wasn't fictional until recently, John. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Your phone number memory is amazing. <laughs> Is there any change in these numbers at all, or are they just random? Well, the the numbers are what you've actually dialed in. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> Anything is a stage prop. Come on, Bill. Now, how long did you spend jumping into random things while playing this? Uh, about a day until I realized I was sick of it. Then I kind of looked a couple of these up, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, but still, it took, a, it took about three or four days to get most of it memorized. Because you got to memorize not only where they're at, but how the maps are designed. Because a lot of these look so similar, it's easy to get lost. Oh, man. <laughs> Highly dangerous textbooks floating in this stream. <laughs> That's how life should work. Just run really fast and trip and then you just get money. Let's create that TV show. Settlement money from here, suing. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, and levels five and six, they really pop out of nowhere. Pretty frustrating. Do the people you actually save throughout the game change, or is it always the same people in the book? It's always the same people. I mean, they randomize when you save them and where you save them, but I mean, it's not like the if, if you're asking if they change, they don't. So, do you actually get to s to get Robin Hood? There's a chance. I think. There are, so if we play long enough without having to use a password or anything, we should hit him. That's what someone just said, the John Michael said, Robin Hood, you get to save a fictional character. <laughs> That's more logical than salad dressing or...
There could have been some ketchup in there or something. <laughs> some avocados. I don't know, this seems like something that would have taken a long time to actually make. In comparison to most older games, it just goes screen to screen. Knights love pudding. That guy's a jerk. We're about to smash Paul Revere. So how many people do you have to save? Did you say 10? Uh, 12. 12. <laughs> this is more like Bill and Ted's bogus video game adventure. <laughs> You have to get some more coins. They'll restock us next level. Now there's some poop there at the show. <laughs> <laughs> King Arthur. That looks like the chick from Street Fighter. Are these Egyptians? <laughs> A lot of bad touch Egyptians. That one over there is on a phone. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think the Egyptians would have kept that in a palm tree. Seems like they've all been kind of in a similar area. Just yeah. in a different random object. There's a couple repeat corners. <laughs> John Michael says the Holy Grail was there all along. Indiana Jones would have been livid. <laughs> I want to know who decided to program that in, into this, just the guy running at you creepily. Like, were they done with the game and then they decided, there's, there's nothing that really uh, hurt you in this. <laughs> This is Bill and Ted's pudding adventure. <laughs> as long as you have sweets. So do you actually get to hear a MIDI file of a Joe Satriani song at the end? Or is it just a random song? It's, yeah, it's just a random song. They actually, I was reading somewhere that they actually program, programmed in real songs to this. Uh, I think one of them's, ah, son of a bitch. Uh, one of them's Smoke on the Water. I've never <laughs> heard it. Well, this is it right here. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Hmm? In comparison to a lot of other movie games, at least they tried to do something different instead of just crapping together some bad platformer that didn't work. <laughs> what kind of jail is that? <laughs> It's not even jail, 